This is a quick tutorial for the functional view section of the safety controller software from Banner Engineering. The functional view is where you will program all of the controller logic and functions. You can add equipment by clicking the icons on the left side of the window, much like you can in the equipment section. However, this section also provides the option to add virtual non-safety inputs, which are useful for when the controller is communicating with a PLC, as well as the ability to reference other inputs and outputs if required by your application. If necessary, you can also rename each input in the Properties window when you add the device, or by double-clicking the device to reopen the Properties window on existing equipment. Each component can be moved for the sake of organization by clicking and dragging the icon to a new location. Logic and function blocks may be used to create more complex configurations, especially when multiple safety inputs need to be tied to the same safety output. Logic blocks create functional relationships between inputs, outputs, and other logic and function blocks. Function blocks provide built-in functionality for most common applications. To add a block, click on one of the large square tiles. Choose the type of logic or function block required for your application. Depending on the block that you selected, you may need to select additional settings, such as the number of inputs that will be connected to the block. For this example, we will add an AND logic block, which requires that all connected inputs be active in order to satisfy the logic and allow the safety outputs to turn on. To connect the input devices to the logic block, click the red square from the input device icon and drag it to a red square on the desired block. If you need to remove a connection, click on the connection line and press the delete key. Because we've added a manual reset input, we will also add the latch reset function block. This block requires both an input signal from either a safety device or another logic or function block, as well as a manual reset input. Note that the left side of the screen includes a checklist which will keep you apprised of all actions that are still required to complete a valid configuration. You can test your functional view configuration offline via the simulation mode, which is located on the toolbar at the top of the window. Click the play icon to begin the simulation, and then click each piece of equipment to toggle their status as on or off. When you are finished with all of your programming, save your configuration and then click the right configuration to controller icon to send it to your connected controller. That covers the basics of the functional view section of the Banner Safety Controller software. For more information, visit BannerEngineering.com.